Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James and also Break, and we are one. Today, I am doing a tutorial, a guide on how to play Roblox on your Steam Deck. Now, we have to go into desktop mode. We're going to have to do a little bit of things, but this is actually a fairly easy guide. But there's some niceties to it, like setting up artwork and whatnot. So make sure to watch the whole thing, and let's uh, get you going. Let's get you creating and consuming some creations in the Roblox world. Okay. But before we do that, you got to make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar so you get additional tips, news, whatever it is concerning games and Steam Deck and uh, mobile gaming. Okay, let's go on over to the Steam Deck. Now, just to note, you need to go into desktop mode. To do that, if you're in game mode, you hit the Steam button, hit power, and then select switch to desktop. Now, once you're into desktop, there are a couple of things you need to know. One of them is the Discover app, which will typically populate right here. But if you don't see it there, you can type it into right here. And sometimes it will just pop up here as the favorite. We're going to go into the Discover app. We're going to search for Grape Juice, which is the third-party launcher of Roblox in the Linux sphere. And it's just going to allow us to more easily launch Roblox and play it. Once you've downloaded it, hitting the launch button really doesn't do anything. You need to go down into the menu and you can search for it here or find it in games, I believe. Um, to search, you can bring up the Steam Deck keyboard by pressing Steam plus X to bring that up. I'm, already, I'm using a mouse and keyboard to do this just to make it a little easier. Um, type in Roblox or Roblo, you know, you just got to type in a part of it. Then you'll see a couple of options here. You are going to want to launch the Roblox app. Um, when we install it this way, when we hit launch, it doesn't launch it because Grape Juice actually installs a couple additional apps along with it. Now, this can take a little bit for it to launch, so you're going to have to give it a second. Um, you can see a little bit of time. Maybe you can grab a drink or a soda just to prepare for the next few steps, which shouldn't take too much more time. Okay, now that we've successfully installed it, we're going to go back in, look for it again, open it, and then it should launch in. You should be able to, if you see um, an issue like this, just uh, bypass it for now. We're going to log in, then we can log in. Now... My first time I installed everything and whatnot, I got uh, an error that crashed the app and actually desktop where nothing was really working. I had to restart my Steam Deck. Just warning you that if you get that, you just might need to restart the Steam Deck because it got into a bad place. It, not all the kinks are worked out of this app, but uh, just a, a little bit of uh, warning to that because uh, it can be a little frustrating, but just to get out of that bad state, Restart. You can do that by clicking this bottom menu, restart, and then you can just restart. It will go back into game mode. You, then you need to switch back into the desktop mode. And then you can go through these steps of just launching the Roblox app. Okay. Put in your username or email. Hit login. It's going to take you a second. Okay. We're going to agree. Okay, now that we have it launching, let's go ahead and just exit out. We are going to do the next step, which is add it to the Steam client, which is going to allow us to play it in game mode. So we're going to go down to this add game, add selected non-Steam game, and then we're going to search for Roblox app. Then we're going to go ahead and add selected app. It's going to pop it into here somewhere, so let's just search for it. You can see we have the Roblox app. Now comes the next fun step. Let's uh, let's let's add some, and this is optional. Let's add some images. So if we go on over to SteamGridDB.com, which I'll have links to all these images in the description below of the video. Now, when you click the download button, it's going to pop up into a new window. We're going to want to right click on this and save image as. Now, if you are on the Steam Deck without a mouse keyboard, I get it probably most of you will be, you can use the left trackpad to just click that down and get the option menu. And then you use the right trackpad to move your mouse, obviously, over the save image as, and then click that down to select it. Now, what we're going to want to do is 
rename these into something along the lines of Roblox icon. Uh, do the same thing for the next two pieces, which is the banner. And this is, this is not like fully necessary to rename these or not. It just makes it so it's easier for you to find them in the download folder. And this last one is uphill. Now let's apply this artwork, the, these images. I renamed my app to Roblox from Roblox app. And then we're going to go ahead and find the downloads folder, which is home deck. And then you can uh, scroll on down here to downloads, open that up. And we can see the Roblox icon. Now you can select different icons if you want. I just chose these ones. They looked like the most interesting. Now that we're done setting the icon, you're going to want to set the banner, which is set custom background. We're gonna to want to once again look for the downloads folder, go to banner and select that. Okay, now we have that. Then we're going to do the pill, which is this one's the hard, like the more difficult one. I should, it's not really that difficult, but I, I usually just throw it in like my favorites or something. Go into there, right click, manage set custom artwork and then this time it, it, when you're doing this one it just opens up the downloads folder for us go to pill now if you can't find your image in here sometimes you do need to click the all files as it's defaults to png um, but you can do all files and a jpeg should work too now we're going to set open it doesn't look like it's going to apply right away but if we just click out click back in to the favorites and you'll see it has applied and it is a nice little piece of artwork. So that is all set. We are pretty much ready to test this bad boy out in gaming mode. So I'll see you over there. Okay, now we're in game mode. We can actually truly test this game out to see how it works. Now, I've played this recently already, so it's gonna come up in my recent games, but if it does not show up here, you can go to library, go to non-Steam games, and you say, hey, look, our artwork is working that we set up. Things are looking great. Now, before we go in and play, you might want to adjust your controller. Now, the default controller seemed to work for me fine, but if you find issues with certain things not working or you want to just change it, there are community-made uh, mappings for the controller for Roblox. I went ahead and chose the first one. Once you've selected your uh, layout, you can go ahead and hit the play button. It can take a little bit, up to a minute to load. And once it's loaded, we're gonna go into the main launcher of Roblox. And for your first time, it's probably not gonna load in full screen like this. It is going to load into a smaller window. You can use the F11 or you can map that, but you can also go into a game. This is how I kind of figured it out. I just went into a game. And if you set that controller right, you can just use the left or the right trackpad to select things. If you didn't select that, you can always use the touch screen to select a game. So we're gonna, if you're using just the controller, you can go ahead and uh, use the right trackpad, select, uh, hover over it, and then use the right trigger use r2 to select it and then uh, it's essentially the mouse click down right or you can just tap the screen the tapping the screen seems to be pretty easy for me now that it's launching we're gonna verify yep it looks like things are working you can you should be able to walk around and everything in it once you i guess play well yeah once you're able to play you can move around like I said, so yeah, there's items with the left trackpad. Um, if things don't quite work out, switch. See, like the uh, mouse button right here is just not quite working. Maybe you need to do something with that. Change your controller layout. Um, this is just the first one I tried. Now, let's go up to the settings area. If you are having issues, just turn on full screen. If you want full screen, Obviously, it's going to look better. Now, if we change the controls back to normal. 
So if we switch it back to the regular control layout, you can see, hey, the, the controller works a little bit better. We can also look around, um, but we do not have the radio uh, um, item selector and a couple other niceties. So you're going to probably want to switch around the controllers layouts until you find the one you want. That's the biggest probably hassle that I found with this game is just finding that sweet spot of the controller layout that you want. This is the game. This is, you, you've done it. You've, you're playing Roblox now. And so with that, let me know in the comments below, did this work for you? Did you have some hiccups? I will definitely say it was smooth. Sometimes I've installed it and other times I essentially had to restart my Steam Deck. And so it's it's definitely not a consistent experience. It would be easy if the if it didn't crash. It's just essentially you download the Discover app, you you know have to install it fully, and then you need to add it to the Steam client, and that's pretty much it. It just works at that point. Now, I just want to know what you guys are experiencing. Is it working well for you? Is it not? Um, at any one point, I will try to update this guide, this tutorial, if I need to in the future, if it stops working. But in the meantime, if it does just, you have some weird hiccups, just try launching it multiple different ways, restarting your deck. I, it, Like I said, that has some hiccups. Um, another note, when launching uh, Roblox app for the first time, sometimes it will be even when you hit like the login button, it might <sighs> prompt you to download Wine. That is just an addition. That's essentially what Proton's built off of. They'll allow you to play the game on Linux. So make sure to have that install. And then you might have to log back in. Just a couple of little last bits of knowledge that I've talked about already, but I just want to really cement that in because it is not the most intuitive thing sometimes. And doing this types of systems, it just tends to be that way. So with that, I hope you got it working. I hope you're enjoying Roblox today. And Check out my other videos, my other how-tos, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Later!